What's up everyone, it's Steven Chalet here and today I'm giving you a quick After Effects tutorial on how to replace the skies in your drone footage. It would work with any kind of footage. I do this all the time to really make the skies pop. This was for a, an auto dealership here in Chico, California and it was for a Black Friday ad and so we wanted to make the sky look really kind of ominous and black clouds and give it a really stylized look. So let's get started and jump right into this. That's what the footage ended up looking like. This is what the footage started out looking like. This is what the footage looked like when we began, shooting in a D-log style, and it is very flat and not that exciting. It was kind of a hazy, washed out day, but this was the chance we had to get the footage, so we're gonna make it work. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is give this just a little basic color correction. We'll adjust the levels and get our blacks kind of back toward the black, get our whites right where they're supposed to be and I'm going to use some curves as well just to crush some of those shadows a little bit more and you know it's a little bit red so I'll pull a little bit of the red out there and kind of even this out. Now in the final ad we want to put some text over the sky here so we're going to make some room for that by just lowering our footage down. Now you're looking at this and saying but Steven that just leaves a line at the top here. Well, we're gonna replace this entire sky so we can move this as far down as we want, really, but right about here is probably perfect for our use. Now we need to find a sky image. I already have one, but if you wanna go find a great place to find sky images, I recommend photodune.net or any of the stock image and stock footage sites out there. This is the thing you wanna look for though. A shot like this, while it's a great shot of clouds, may not work for our footage because it doesn't have the same perspective as the shot we're using. Our shot shows the horizon, so finding a shot maybe like this one where we can see the horizon would work really well. I already have an image. It is in my project folder here. This is the shot we're gonna use, and it's already a little stylized, but we can correct that a little bit and get it to work. So we'll drop the sky in here and I'm gonna position it in kind of a similar place to where my footage is. And then I'm gonna just kind of crop along the tree line here. I don't wanna see that building. I'm using the mask tool here to create a mask and mask out everything but the sky. And then we'll go into our mask tool here and feather the edge a little bit. And then we're just gonna position this to where we want it to be, which is right along the sky there. Now if I go in here and I switch this to multiply, it'll kind of blend that edge a little better. This shot is a little bit dark, so I'm gonna go into my curves here and I'm gonna just pull the darks up quite a bit to kind of match the look we have here. So that's looking pretty good. We can play it back and we see that the sky is filling in the sky and our drone footage is taking care of our ground shot here. Now that it's rendered, it'll play back smoothly. The problem, as we watch this over and over again, as you can especially see it here, is that our horizon in the drone footage is moving sort of to the left here as we're zooming in, but our background footage, our sky image, is staying perfectly still. So we can correct for that. What we need to do is track our drone footage and apply that tracking information to the sky image. To do that, I'm gonna start by creating a null object, and I'm gonna call my null object um, tracking and we go back to our drone footage we're going to hit track motion in our tracking panel and we're going to track position and scale now what we want to do is this is 4k footage so we need to zoom in here a little bit we want to grab these track points and get them up into the area of our horizon and pick some areas in our horizon to track I think this top of this tree is kind of a nice clear point to track and on this side this tower over here would be great so we'll go ahead and put this on the tower now if we make sure we're at our first frame of video here and we hit analyze forward it will track that shot for us track 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 it's almost done and there we are now we can scrub through this and we can see that our track points are following the horizon really nicely we want to make sure that we edit the target for our tracker to the tracking layer that we created click OK and now we're going to apply our track to that layer and when we come back in here we can see it created all kinds of tracking information on our 
footage and it also applied all that tracking information to the position and scale of our tracking null layer. So now if we were to scrub through this, we should see that our null layer, which is represented by this little red square here, will follow the horizon. And now, if we take our sky layer and we parent it to the tracking layer, which you can do by just going to this menu and telling it what you want to parent it to, that means that it will follow whatever this layer does. So now if we hit play, we can see that our sky is moving with the background layer. Now the problem we have right now is over here, you can see that it's exposing a little bit of the layer underneath because this layer is not quite big enough as it moves over. The tracking is moving that sky layer just a little bit to the left. One thing we can do is we can just scale it up just a little bit. And that should solve our problems. If we scaled it up enough, it'll make it all the way to the end. Let's see how it looks, and there we go. We're almost there. We've got the look right. The, the motion is moving with it. The only thing we're missing is sort of a stylized look. So this is where we get into color grading. Now we've already color corrected these shots a little bit, right? We color, put some curves on the sky. We did some levels and some curves here. Color correction serves the purpose of bringing all your footage into a, a similar uh, color palette and correcting for things like white balance or black levels, white levels. What we want to do now is create a stylized look, which we would call color grading. So I'll create an adjustment layer. I'm going to call that color grade. And on that layer, we will use magic bullet looks. And we open up our looks builder here. And I have a custom look that I created for this called black skies ahead. It's got everything we need to give us that look. And there we have it. Now I just might make a few fine adjustments like bringing the black levels of the clouds up a little bit and maybe bring, adjust our drone for just a touch here and we can watch it back. We've got a beautiful stylized look and we can go through and do this with all the different drone shots, any shots we want to add the sky to, motion track and add your sky in. Now the only thing we need to finish this off is a little text. This was for a Black Friday ad, so we'll toss some text up here and maybe we'll come in and we'll animate the, um, the tracking. I think that might look good. So we'll animate our tracking amount. We'll start it at zero back here at the beginning and we'll have it spread out. Slide that keyframe to the end and and now we've got a nice stylized video background. We've got our text going over the top of it. It's a cool look. It really didn't take us a long time to do that. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please keep checking back for more. If there's something else you want to learn, hit me up in the comments.